Okay, I'd like to show you how to uh, fit a drill grinding attachment to a slabette uh, grinding machine. When you receive the drill grinding attachment, it's packed like this. And you have to first take this nut off. Then you have a bearing inside here. The spring off. Then you can take the shafts out also. And if you lose this one here, and just here, then you can get it out like this. The first thing you do is to fit into the base like this and tighten it up up here with this Allen key. Like this. Then you take the spring first, then you take the attachment, and if you put it like this and, 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 and use this finger screw, then you lock it in a position so it's not swinging forward and backwards. Then you take the bearing, this cover, and you take the nut. Then it might be necessary to push a little bit further into the, to the shaft here, to the machine, if it's possible, like this. Then I lock it again. So now I lock it tight, like this. And then I have the knot now and, and the thread in the shaft to bring it closer to the, to the stone. When you fit the drill grinding attachment, the distance between the stone and this plate here should be between 1 and 2 mm, measured out from the bottom here. So when you're from the bottom, help between 1 and 2 mm, like now, it's okay. That one, one and two millimeter from the stone. I make sure it's right in the middle of the stone with, with the top part here, in the middle of the, of the stone. And then I tighten it now in this position with this screw here. And you have to tighten it very firm, firmly. Now it's fitted. Then you lose this one here and you can swing from left to right. When it's brand new, and you turn on the machine now, hold it like this, turn the machine on, then maybe you'll have some parts touching. It's not this case now, but if it's touching, it's okay. Just grind that off uh, if that's happened. Otherwise, it's ready to, to use now. Then you take a drill. I have here a 20 millimeter drill, 20.5. I pull into the attachment. When you fit in a drill in the holder, you go up so it's the one edge is hitting the, the plate here. You do it like this, and now you can hit it's, it's just touching. Then to support it, I have this, and I slide, slide that up behind it so it cannot go back. Now it's in the lock position. just free of the stone, then I turn on the machine, like this, and here it's clicking. And that's what I do with my two fingers, one underneath and one on the thumb on, on top, go like this. Now you can see it's not touching, so what I do is that I push it a little bit forward with the screw down here, like this, still not touching. You only want to touch a little bit, now a little bit more. Go like this. And I continue till there's nearly no sparks left. Then I have a good finish. Then, I, then it's important to turn around so both edges get the same angle and same grinding. Then do the other side. And I make a full swing from left to right. Like 
like this. Now you can see the results. Very sharp. On the machine you have five marks here and you have plus and you have minus. When you get the machines and you want a free angle between eight and nine degrees, then you use the, the one in the middle. If you want more, you, you go to this side and go for plus, and if you want less, you go on minus side. But what you have to do is only one millimeter does a big effect of the, of, of the free angle. So only one millimeter, and then you see a big change. But normally always in the middle, then you have a free angle between eight and, and nine uh, degrees. The smaller drill, this is only uh, 10 millimeter. I put it in, same procedure as before, just up so it's just touching the, the plate and I hold it with my fingers, just so it's touching, not here, but you can see that it's touching right there. Then I support it from behind here, now very, no distance, okay, I push a little bit forward, make sure it's uh, against this plate here, hold it there, still not, a little bit more, like this. Same procedure, full swing, the other side. Now the machine is not bolted to the floor, but that's a good idea, then it's easier to operate with the machine. But I turn it around to make sure I do both sizes, there's no need no sparks left. Then you have the same result as before, and you have to make is in fact the length of the different drills. Everything else is the same each time. As you can see, all the grinding is done in the middle of the stone. That means that you get like a curve into the stone. And to dress that, you have this with the drill grinding attachment. That's a little diamond tip here at the front. And that fits straight into the, to the holder, like this. So what you do is you put it so it's just in a direct angle into the stone. With the handle on the side here, you lock it so it's in a locked position now. Then you move it forward to the stone, so it's nearly touching, and then lock it like this. Then you have your Allen key, and you lose it so it can move from side to side. Now you can see it move from side to side. And what I do is I push it forward with this one here, and then just take it from side to side. Now there's no, no connection in the middle. Move a little bit further forward. And I do with this finger nut. Now you can see that it's really taking off. And when you have a good contact all the way through the stone, now we have a good contact through the stone. We we'll take off the drill, uh, the, the dresser. We go back to the middle of the stone. We check that the distance between this plate and the stone is still one to two millimeters. It's okay. Then I just Put it back and then I lock it again. Like this. Use this handle and you're ready to go. So in a few seconds you have dressed the stone and you have a brand new machine.